Hey, Scott Hambrick, scotthambrick.com. Wanted to tell you guys about a new project that I have just finished and I'm proud of and probably need your help with. It's an audiobook. I was I was looking for an audio edition of a book by Oswald Spengler, S P E N G L E R. Just couldn't find it. It's um uh, Man and Technic is the name of the book. It's about history. Now, it's not about specific historical events, but it's about um, a, a framework for how to think about history. You know, there are several different historiographical, historiographical approaches that people take. Like there's the great man theory of history, which, um, which is very common in public schools, for example, where we tell the story of history as the story of great men, right? Abraham Lincoln. George Washington, um, Henry VIII, Henry Ford, right? And we we think about history as a series of events that are um, promulgated by great men. That's one way of looking at it. Another one is uh, looking at history as being moved forward or advancing through series of conflicts and uh, who tell history in terms of all of the warfare, for example, that has taken place over time. Well, Spinkler has a little different idea, and you'll get to hear um, some of that, those ideas about what drives history and what drives civilization in his book, Man and Technic. He goes farther in his book, uh, The Decline of the West, uh, but in the short book, it's about an hour and 50 minutes long, something like that. Um, he lays out the bones of his theory about how technology and um, and the intellect of man really drives forward uh, the whole scope of history. You can get that book if you're interested in history, if you're interested in different approaches to uh, thinking about and documenting history, or just want to hear my voice some more. You can go to onlinegreatbooks.com slash Spengler, S-P-E-N-G-L-E-R, and pick that thing up. Um, recorded this over one weekend down at producer Trent's house in Fort Worth. And uh, you guys probably know him from the Barbell Logic podcast and the, history, uh, the Music and Ideas podcast. And uh, he's done a great job of making this thing sound really good. I'm going to drop the preface of this book in here so you get a little idea about what the thing is about and uh, what the quality of this is. I think it sounds great, and I'm really proud of, of uh, having done it, and I'm proud of Trent's work. I wanted an audio edition of this, and I just couldn't find one. And uh, huh, You know, LibriVox has a lot of free audio books out there, but a lot of them leave uh, a great deal to be desired. And I wanted to bring something that was interesting and uh, obscure and uh, somewhat controversial. Uh, to people, and I think we've done that with this Oswald Spengler's Man and Technic. So if you're interested, go check that thing out at onlinegreatbooks.com slash Spengler, S-P-E-N-G-L-E-R, and uh, have a listen. Here is the preface to that book. Preface. In the following pages, I lay before the reader a few thoughts that are taken from a larger work on which I have been engaged for years. It had been my intention to use the same method which, in the decline of the West, I had limited to the group of the higher cultures, for the investigation of their historical prerequisite, namely, the history of man from his origins. But experience with the earlier work showed that the majority of readers are not in a position to maintain a general view over the mass of ideas as a whole, and so lose themselves in the detail of this or that domain which is familiar to them, seeing the rest either obliquely or not at all. In consequence, they obtain an incorrect picture, both of what I have written and of the subject matter about which I wrote. Now, as then, it is my conviction that the destiny of man can only be understood by dealing with all the provinces of his activity simultaneously and comparatively and avoiding the mistake of trying to elucidate some problem, say, of his politics or his religion or his art, solely in terms of particular sides of his being, in the belief that, this done, there is no more to be said. Nevertheless, in this book I venture to put forward some of the questions. They are a few among many, 
but they are interconnected and for that reason may serve for the time being to help the reader to a provisional glimpse into the great secret of man's destiny.